Communities across the coastal empire are recovering today after being battered by severe storms overnight. Thousands still without power across the coastal empire this afternoon with around 800 still showing and waiting for power in Chatham County and twice as many with, without electricity in Bullock County. Bureau Chief Dow Kennedy is joining us live now from that area where they really took the brunt of those overnight storms. Dow, I know you've seen some of that damage firsthand, probably were in some of that last night. It looks like it's definitely left a mark. I could see it. I could see it and hear it from my own house as well. And I'm here on Brandon Farm Road, which is one of the areas that saw some of this damage. You know, plenty of people, as you said, are without power. I spoke with uh, Joel Hanner, the regional manager for Georgia Power in Statesboro. He says they hope to have 95% of their customers back online by midnight tonight. Power or no power, there is still lots of cleanup to do. Trees seem to have fallen through most parts of Bullock County. This one fell last night on Brandon Farm Road in front of Pat Sewell's house. I saw this disc. I said, oh, that's not good. Oh. And uh, then I looked out my front door there and I said, oh, this is not good either. Many of the trees fell across power lines and left parts of the county without power and people looking for options. Y'all are still without power this morning. What are y'all doing just kind of get by while well, you we, wait? We have a couple of generators. So my husband is out trying to get some gas right now so that we can um, put the generators into place. County crews worked through the night and morning to clear major roads first and work their way down. Many roads were blocked. Many dirt roads are still blocked, which we're trying to work with the power company on getting those cleared. Um, but yeah, there, there was a significant amount of trees, but thankfully we had no injuries and very minimal property damage. He says utility crews are working through the larger outages to get the most customers restored first as quickly as possible. I'm the last one on this line, so I'm going to probably be the last one to get power, but, you know, such is life. And that's certainly a patient approach to take with this. Now, talking with Ted Wynn, he said that the National Weather Service has told him that the winds that they recorded here, these straight line winds, were among the most intense they have ever recorded. As we said, Georgia Power and EMC are both working, trying to get their customers back up online and get power restored. We'll keep you updated on that throughout the afternoon and the evening into tonight. Live in Bullock County, Dow Kennedy, WTOC News.